A at Winchester, engineering announcements for the radio and television trade. And welcome to this week's announcements from the IBA's Engineering Information Service. A world of information at your fingertips. That's the title of a teletext promotion produced by Brema. It's for dealers to record and to use in tomorrow's National Teletext Day promotions. Before that, independent local radio comes to Barnsley. Extensions to Channel 4 television coverage. And details of four new relays. In Wales, Kefin Mar and Bow Street. In the east of England, Norwich Central and in Lincolnshire, Stamford. We start with independent local radio, and in Barnsley, Radio Hallam is now on the air from a relay site at Ardsley. VHF stereo is broadcast on 102.9 MHz, with medium wave transmissions on 1305 kHz, that's 230 metres. Coverage includes Barnsley, Hemsworth, Mexborough and Hoyland Nether. That's Radio Hallam from Barnsley, now on the air. Television transmitter news next. An advance warning that next Tuesday and Wednesday, transmissions from Sutton Coalfield begin from the new replacement mast. We expect to be on reduced power for the first two days while final checks are made, with full power all being well on Thursday. That's reduced power at Sutton Coalfield on Tuesday and Wednesday next week. Well, there's no time this week for any more special announcements. A list of these appears on Oracle page 590 on Channel 4 and S4C. New relays next, and now on the air in the east of England, Norwich Central. Anglia Television and TVAM are on Channel 49, and Channel 4 on 42. The aerial group is B, vertically polarised. In North Wales, the relay at Kevin Mower has been delayed. We'll give you more details when we can. Expect it later this week in Wales, near Aberystwyth, the relay at Bow Street. This is for about 625 people in an area between Bow Street and Clarrick Bay, including Thlangorwen. HTB Wales and TVAM will be on Channel 41, with S4C on Channel 47. Group B aerials will be needed, vertically polarised. Bow Street is due on the air in a few days' time. Also due this week in Lincolnshire, a relay for Stamford. The station is designed to cover just over 700 people in low-lying areas of the town near the river. Central's East Midlands service, together with TVAM, will be on Channel 49, with Channel 4 on 42. Group B aerials will be needed, vertically polarised. The relay for Stamford is due on the air towards the end of this week. Channel 4 next, and conversion work at existing relays. Now on the air, Forest Row on Channel 66 serving the Plymouth area, Plimpton, on Channel 54, in Greater Manchester, covering Shaw, Dog Hill, on Channel 53, and in Lancashire, Whitewell, on Channel 67. Between them, these relays add 24,500 people to Channel 4's coverage. Several more relays are due this week. In the London area, Bishop Stortford, on Channel 49, in Kent, Dover Town, delayed from last week, on Channel 30, and in Wales, Abergwynvy, with S4C on Channel 31, also delayed from last week. In Cheshire, Congleton on Channel 47, and in Scotland, Gartley Moor on Channel 54. Well, these relays are all due on the air later this week. Before the Bremer Teletext promotion, a reminder of our address if you have any technical queries on independent broadcasting. Engineering Information Service, Independent Broadcasting Authority, Crawley Court, Winchester, Hampshire, postcode SO212QA. You can telephone us on Winchester, that's STD code 0962 822444. In the London area, you dial 584 7011, but please ask for engineering information. We'll be on the air again next Tuesday at 9.15 and 12.15, but now it's time to start your VCRs for the Bremer Teletext promotion. From my colleague Janet Smythe and from me, John Lovell, goodbye until next week.
What can I give them all for dinner? I'll just check the arrival time of Jim's flight. Dad, do you know any good jokes? How am I going to sell my car? I wonder if there are any last-minute holiday bargains. Teletext, a world of information at your fingertips. In fact, a world of up-to-date information at your fingertips. Information that's available from 6 o'clock in the morning until TV closed down at night. Recipes, travel information, kids' entertainment, gardening, cars and houses for sale, television programme information, job vacancies, holiday bargains, as well as news, weather, sports and financial information. And there's lots, lots more. And what's more, it's absolutely free. In the next few minutes, I'll show you how you can view this world of information in the comfort of your own home, without even moving from your favourite chair. But firstly, what is teletext? Well, quite simply, it's pages of information which can be displayed along with or in place of the television programme. Each page is numbered. You do, of course, need a television which is capable of receiving the teletext signal. But that's no problem. There are many models to choose from. Just ask your dealer to show you his range. So, how do we get at this information? Well, you have a remote control, just like any TV, but with extra buttons on it to operate the teletext. I'll tell you more about those later, except for the button marked Text, or TT. Press it, and immediately you're in that world of information. Each TV channel has its own information service. On BBC One and Two, the service is CFAX. On ITV and Channel Four, it's Oracle. But on Channel Four's Oracle service, there's an additional magazine called Fortel, which provides Channel Four television programme information. As you can see, each channel has its own index. It's like the index to a book. The numbers refer to the pages. Let's take the news as an example, page 101. If you want to look at that page, just key in the numbers on the controller. There we are, news headlines. Now, most people know that there are pages containing news, financial information, weather and sport. But let's see some of the other pages available. There are plenty of pages giving TV programme information. There's advice on best buys at the food shops. All the latest information about the rock and pop world, latest charts and concert venues. For those interested in disk drives and memory and bugs and bytes and things, there's even free computer software and advice. In fact, there's a lot of leisure information about wildlife and what to look for in the countryside or an event guide of things to do and places to go in your region. Or how about chess? Or a chance for you to participate in competitions and win prizes. There's even a cartoon serial and lots of fun and games for the kids. And of specific interest to women, there are news and features from fashion to fitness. Well, that's just a taster, just a few of the hundreds of pages available for you to look at. Now you know a bit more about Teletext, let's have a look at the other facilities on the controller. The button marked Mix displays the Teletext page mixed with a television picture. Quite useful for sports scores and results. On the fun pages, there are often quizzes or anagrams. To check your answers, simply press Reveal. If you need more time to look at a page, just press hold. For those who find it difficult to see the text, there's a facility to enlarge half the page to fill the screen. Oh, and by the way, those who have difficulty hearing will find that many programmes have subtitles written for them. So there you are, a world of up-to-date information at your fingertips. 
not only news, sport and finance, but also holidays, gardening, health, adverts, chess, computer software, quizzes, jokes, detailed program information, and lots and lots and lots more. Easy to use, free of charge, something for everyone. And if you would like to know more, just ask your dealer. Teletext, a world of up-to-date information at your fingertips. Now you have a go.